today's video, we want to see how we can upgrade an older version of .NET to the latest version. The project that I have here is built using .NET 7 and I want to upgrade that to .NET 9. .NET team will be releasing new version every year in November and because of that it is good to always keep up with the latest version. In the initial versions of .NET Core, upgrading was a bit painful but now it is a seamless process and it is more or less standardized with very few breaking changes. Like this version that I have in the project, if I right click here, edit project file, you will see it is net 7. That is no longer supported right now and I want to upgrade that. Now we can directly do that in the project file, but I want to see something new. Click on the project here. You will notice we have an option of upgrade. And when you click on that, you will have to install the .NET Upgrade Assistant extension. Let me select yes here and let me download and install that. Perfect, the download is complete. Let me install that. We will hit the install button here for both Visual Studio and Visual Studio 2022 preview that I have. And let me end all the task here. As you can see, this is the first time I'm using the Upgrade Assistant. So let me see how that goes. If nothing, we can always update the project file and I will show you that route as well. Perfect, the installation is complete. Let me close that and let me open Visual Studio again. And I will open the project. Before I upgrade that using the installer here, you can see the project is in source control. So what I want to do is let me show you the manual route on how you will upgrade. You will right click here and go to project file. And first what you have to do is whatever is the latest version, you will write that here and save the project file. Once you save that, then if you right click here and you will go to manage NuGet packages and you will upgrade all the NuGet packages. If you navigate to the Upgrades tab here, you can select all packages and hit the Update button. Now sometimes you might find some issues because packages might be dependent on each other, so some package will have to be updated first. But let me try that and see what happens. What you can even do is let me decline this here, let me show that in the Edit Project file. Perfect. You can see the version here for .NET 7, the ASP.NET Core packages is 7.0.1 and here we know the latest one is 9.0.2 in .NET 9. Let's say if you were upgrading to .NET 8 here, you can examine what is the version that is 8.0.13. You can directly go here and change that version number. Like where we have this one, let me change that to 9.0.2. And if I save that, the JWT parallel package will automatically be upgraded when I build the project. Perfect, once I build it here, you can see right here it is still displaying this package. Let me close that and open NuGet package again. And this time you can see that package is not detected. If you go to the install tab here, that package is upgraded here and that looks good. So that is one way of updating directly in the project file if you know what version it is. Let me try the updates here and select the update button. And perfect, you can see all of them were updated successfully. If you face any issue here, you can always go back to the manual route that I showed where you can update it directly in the project file. Now with that in place, if I run the application, the application has now been upgraded to .NET 9 and it should work as expected. You can see the API endpoints are up and running and we have the Swagger UI. That looks good. Now this is kind of manual approach because we use the NuGet package here and we updated the project file. Let me revert back all the changes here and that will bring back .NET 7 and older NuGet packages. With this, let me try the installer now. 
let me try the upgrade assistant here right click we will select upgrade and perfect you can see the upgrade assistant here and we can do in place project upgrade or we can do the new get upgrade let me do the in place project upgrade here i will update that to dotnet 9 here select that and select all the project if you have some component that you do not want to upgrade you can unselect that as well with the selection here we will hit upgrade selection and let me see what happens perfect the upgrade is successful here let me examine the github changes if i examine the modified version here it upgrades that to dotnet 9 and the new get packages if i scroll to right here it changes all the version so you can see it does all of that automatically and that is great but even if we had to do that manually it was not that of a hectic task but i do love to use the utility here and let it handle all the upgrades that was perfect and super quick to upgrade our application which was in dotnet 7 to dotnet 9 i hope you enjoyed the free video on how to use the upgrade assistant or even how to manually upgrade using the project file make sure to like the video and for more interesting videos in the dotnet world make sure you subscribe to the channel i will see you guys next time till then Happy coding!